It has been a long road for this patient. But after years of dealing with fibroids, a treatment that promises relief from the growing tumors taking up space in her body. In the past, invasive surgeries were one of the few treatment options available. But now, new technology aims to give women more options to recover faster and with less risk. In this OR, we're about to see one of those new procedures. Dr. Andre LaRoche is Chief of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Humber River Hospital. So this is our largest fibroid, which is the one at the back here. On the operating table is a 51-year-old woman who has struggled with heavy periods, pain and frequent urination caused by multiple fibroids. So every fibroid is going to take a little bit longer or faster depending on the consistency of your fibroid. Only a couple of incisions are necessary. The device delivers radio waves and heat directly into the fibroid and destroys the tissue, turning it from a hard, smooth muscle to a soft consistency, allowing it to shrink over time and alleviate symptoms, some within weeks. So far we've done one, two, three, four. This is our fourth fibroid. The largest fibroid was about eight centimeters. It's quite amazing. I mean, In between surgeries, we catch up with Dr. LaRoche. And the one thing that we saw during the surgery was that we found more fibroids than we were expecting to find. Despite the initial scans showing five fibroids, they found and treated 10. Traditionally, we would have to do some form of larger cut, typically, to get fibroids out, uh, either removing the fibroids or removing the whole uterus. This laparoscopic ultrasound first arrived in Canada two years ago and is being introduced in some medical centers across the country. Fibroids are non-cancerous tumors that develop in the wall of the uterus. Some can be as small as a grape, while others can reach the size of a cantaloupe or even larger. About 70% of women will develop fibroids by age 50, and about a third will have serious symptoms. Fibroids cause uh, heavier bleeding. Dr. Cindy Maxwell at Women's College Hospital has advocated for more fibroid research. We don't tend to find out about the fibroids until people have reached a stage where they have such symptoms uh, that they, they require medical attention. I just had really big fibroids. Social media has become a space for women to share their stories. That is a 16 centimeter fibroid basically taking up my entire body. The symptoms can be debilitating and life-altering. They can impact people's fertility as well as their ability to carry pregnancies, especially in the early stages. For decades, there have been a range of treatments, from medications for pain and heavy bleeding to surgical options like a myomectomy to remove the fibroids or a hysterectomy, which takes out the uterus. Between 2022 and 2023, there were more than 10,000 hysterectomies and over 6,000 myomectomies due to fibroids. Accessible and affordable. TV Ontario host Nam Kiwanuka endured heavy menstrual bleeding and pain. I haven't slept uh, eight hours straight in a very long time. As she battled fibroids for nearly two years. It was not unusual for me to have up to nine pads like stacked on top of each other. So how long would something, a bag like this, last you? This is about two or three days. Wow. Yeah. These are tumors that are in your uterus. And At one point, she bled for 52 days straight. It was really hard to convince doctors that I needed help. It was just dismissed as my period. It's just your period. It's just fibroids. Trips to the ER couldn't be avoided as her pain and symptoms worsened month to month. I was actually really scared that I would die from, from this because I would sit on the toilet at night and it would just, just blood would just come out of my body. And I didn't know how to stop it. Her only solution advised her doctor was a hysterectomy. Her surgeon took this photo, evidence of the multiple fibroids in her uterus, the largest measuring 10 centimeters. And when I saw the picture, it was a sense of relief in the sense that I, it wasn't in my head. But months after surgery, due to complications, she's dealing with significant pain. Like any major surgery, a hysterectomy comes with risks and a long recovery. Another emerging treatment for fibroids aims to avoid surgery altogether. Canadian scientists are developing a focused ultrasound device. Patients wouldn't need to go under the knife and it could help preserve fertility. 
This is a graphic of how the patient would lie on this unit, tummy down. Dr. Elizabeth David is a radiologist and principal investigator at Sunnybrook Hospital. Her team completed phase two of a clinical trial with 50 women using a high intensity focused ultrasound machine. The ultrasound comes from below and focuses on the fibroid at that red spot here. The device uses sound waves and heat to essentially kill the fibroid. It's almost like you've scooped out some of the tumor and that's how you get that shrinkage. This essentially depicts the uterus, which has a round area in here, which is the fibroid. The darker area is the area that we've treated. Their findings are now under review by Health Canada. If approved, it would be the first focused ultrasound treatment for fibroids in the country. If someone is so hindered or so disabled by their menses every month, such that they can't go to work or they can't function properly, that is an enormous societal cost. About one week after surgery, we caught up with Elena Supa, the patient from Humber River Hospital. I feel really good. It's been eight days and uh, pretty much back to normal. For nearly 12 years, her life revolved around fibroids. It's been a struggle. It really impacted my life. I really had to plan everything around my cycle. It will still be a few months before she sees the full impact of the procedure, but already she feels less pressure on her bladder. I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful. I, I, I'm looking forward to the future. A future where women will have more treatments for a problem so many have suffered with in silence.